Hey guys, um, so this is just going to be uh, quite a brief video. I just want to um, present what I think is an absolutely conclusive argument uh, for the existence of God. Um, and it goes like this. Uh, so, premise one, all propositions are true. Premise two, God exists is a proposition. Um, therefore, God exists is true. Uh, if God exists is true, then God exists. Uh, therefore, God exists. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think um, that this uh, argument is basically watertight. Uh, I suppose that a lot of people, if they object to it, would probably object to premise one, the claim that all propositions are true. Um, so uh, just to say a little bit more in defense of that. Well, first of all, um, I think that this is uh, intuitively clearly correct. So if you consider any given proposition and you know you just think about it intuitively then uh, it, it seems for any given proposition that that proposition is true so if I take say the proposition um, I am a scrambled egg well it seems intuitively right to me that that proposition is true similarly I am not a scrambled egg I think that's also intuitively true um, and uh, uh, the the moon is made of cheese um, and there is a cup on my table, and there is a giant elephant floating around my room, um, and indeed, God exists. Um, whenever I think of any given proposition, and uh, I, I, I consider like just how, how I feel about that proposition intuitively, you know, what's my gut reaction to it, it seems to be true. I can't come up with any proposition that doesn't seem to be true. So, um, so on the one hand, we have uh, premise one is supported by a consideration of uh, my intuitions. And um, as, as we know, I mean, if we're going to be defending any philosophical thesis, uh, we have very little to go on other than our intuitions. So I, I submit that uh, this is extremely well supported um, by our intuitions. And if you disagree with that, I challenge you to come up with a proposition that is not intuitively true. And I don't think that you're gonna be able to do that because, because all, all of them, it seems to me, are intuitively true. Um, the other point in defense of premise one is that um, it isn't uh, actually possible for any of you uh, to disagree with it because anything that you say, any argument you give um, will appeal to, well, you're gonna be appealing to propositions, right? Um, but I already say that all propositions are true. So anything you say is already going to be in agreement with me. Um, any argument you give, the premises and the conclusion, are simply going to be part of the content of what is asserted by premise one. So in fact, you do not disagree with me, and there is nothing you can say that will express any kind of disagreement with me. Um, if you say, for instance, uh, no propositions are true, well, no propositions are true, is itself a proposition. And my premise one there says, all propositions are true. Uh, so I agree that no propositions are true is true. Um, uh, so all you've done by saying that no propositions are true is you have asserted part of the content of premise one there. Uh, so you do not disagree with me. Um, so yeah, I, I think that this is, uh, um, uh, pr pretty pretty clearly right. Um, the claim that all propositions are true is supported uh, by a consideration of our intuitions and um, it's also the case that absolutely nobody under any circumstances is capable of disagreeing with it. Uh, so uh, premise one I think is quite uh, quite secure and the rest I think uh, seem to yeah seem to seem to work. I mean when I think about premise true premise two that's intuitively true. Uh, the Subconclusion, that's intuitively true. Premise three, that's intuitively true. You know, it just all works. This, this, this argument all works. Of course, this argument does also, uh, th th there is also a similar argument for the conclusion that God does not exist. Um, but, uh, y you know, I'm, I'm not really worried about that in this particular context. Um, what I'm doing right now is presenting an argument to the effect that God does exist. And this is, I think, a watertight argument for that conclusion. Um, okay, well, that's, uh, that's all I have to say. So thanks, thanks for watching.